welcome back in this video I'll be talking about merge statement so what is the must what is must statement uh, what is its syntax and how to use it right all this thing we'll talk about okay uh, one by one great so before starting merge statement I would like to give you some scenario like uh, for example I have one table called as the table one it has two column ID and name for example I have another table uh, which is a table 2 which is having the same structure as table 1 you can consider this table 1 as a live table or production table and this one is our staging table staging table means we will upload the data into table 2 and from there it will finally merge to the table 2 these are the two table we are having here table 1 and table 2 both are having the same syntax ok let's create the table now create table table 1 with a column as id int name as a varchar varchar of 100 this is my table 1 great same table then another name table 2 great okay so I am having this is my first table table 1 I just have created it this is my table 2 with the same structure great let's make a script okay. so what we have we have a two table called as a table 1 and the table 2 both are having the same structure now what my requirement is that I have three cases and I want to write those logic in a one one statement right so the scenario is basically if record is present if ID for example if ID is present in table one then it should okay if ID is present in table 1 and that ID is not present in table 2 then what should happen then table 1 data should be deleted table 1 data should be deleted Right. what does it mean let's say I have a ID which is equal to 1 this one is present in the table 1 but that ID which is 1 which is not present in table 2 great so what should happen so ID with a value 1 in table 1 should be deleted this is my case 1 next is case 2 uh, my case 2 is if ID which is 1 is present in table 1 and that ID which is 1 is also present in table 2 what should happen then there should be update update table 1 data with the table 2 great now next scenario I have is if ID is equal to 1 it's not present in table 2 but it is present in table 1 sorry table 2 right So 
in this case data from table 2 should be loaded into table 1 should be loaded in table 1 right because or uh, because table 1 is our production table and table 2 is our staging table okay don't con don't be confused with the uh, staging and production just think about table 1 and table 2 you have a table 1 you have a table 2 table 1 if table 1 has a data and table 2 doesn't have the data what will happen if table 1 is having a data and table 2 also having the same kind of data so what will happen if table 1 doesn't have the data but table 2 have some data so what should happen so these are the three cases uh, which we need to think on um, and we need to write a query in a such a way that all these three operations should be performed here right so before going to the merge statement i would like to talk about more interesting thing here uh, what 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 is the other way we can uh, we can we can implement this scenario basically obviously we can implement so for example i have this table one i have the table two right so i can write a query like this if i want to uh, have this condition so what the condition is id1 is present in table 1 and id1 is not present in table 2 so for that how can i query the data so to verify it i should write a query in a such a way like uh, select star from table 1 you can give some other name a yeah. uh, inner join not inner join basically you should do left out join here left outer join because you are pretty much sure that data is present in table but data is not present in table 2 so you can write like this table 2 b on a dot id is equal to b dot id right where table 2 doesn't have the data you can say id is null so before great so this is our query left auto join great uh, to demonstrate it first of all let's insert some data table 1 if i execute these two queries what will I get I can see here there is no data here. so what my first scenario is first scenario is that the ID 1 is present in table 1 so I need to insert some data in table 1 so you can write the query like this insert into table 1 and select 1 comma Shrikant great let's execute this now our case one is that id one is present in the table one right this is present in table on this record with id one and the id one should not present in table two right? when i query this table table two i can see there is no data so to get such kind of record i need to write a code like this if i'll execute this query what will i get i will get only those record from table one which doesn't have the matching record in table two if you carefully observe this is the left auto join so you know left auto join what will happen every row from the table will, will be shown in the output but the data from the table two if doesn't match it will show with a null value like this right so this is having the record in the table one but it doesn't have the recording like this so this is the case one so what should happen delete should happen right so you can simply write here delete and if you we'll perform this it will perform the delete right i put mistake so it will delete the data from the table one if i'm coming here if i'm querying the data i can see here both the table doesn't have the data because uh, we have just written the code this is our case one right 
this is case one great now case two is that if id one is present in table one that id is also present in table two then what should happen then update should happen so what will we do we'll just load the data into table one and same data will load into table two but but with a different name i can give it as a prashant something like that just run it okay so here we need to write uh, insert now we are having the two table this is table one it is having a one record shrikan right and i am also having a table two it is having uh, one record with id is one but name is something prashank right so uh, if i want to perform the update so how can i do that simply i need to write a code such a way that it should match the data like table one a here i need to use inner join because i want to compare both the table so you can write like this this is table two b on a dot id is equal to b dot id so here if you query this you can see the data now you want to do what you want to update the table one so you need to write here update a set what you have to update you have to update the name column so you can need to type a dot name is equal to p dot name and this is inner join right so because we just need to update i'm updating the code when you will execute this query you will see that this query has been executed successfully and if you'll go back to the table table 2 and table 1 you will see the exact data right this name has been updated successfully this is case 2 now case 3 that id is not present in table 2 but it is id is not present in a table 1 actually but it is not present in table 2 so what will happen let's make scenario so table 1 should not have that record so we just need to delete it as here only when one record so don't worry will not hamper anything it will only delete the one record grid now table one doesn't have the record table two let's query table two has the record with the one right so what is our case three our case three is if id is not present in table one and but it is present in table two what should happen data should be inserted so so for that such kind of query we need to write query like this select star from here we have to use what we have to use we have to use a right outer join right why right outer i will talk about right outer join with a table two previously we have used left outer join right now right outer join on a dot id is equal to b dot id right so okay here where we should have condition we can write in other way round also but to make it more simple i would like to write like this where a dot id is null what will happen let's run this when i run this query i can see here the uh, data from the left side table is showing me with a null but from right side table it will show me with a value so when i use the right out join what will happen it will uh, guarantee me that all the record from the right hand side table will be there uh, which are match and also it will have all the record from the table two from the right side table which doesn't match with a null value right so what i need to do i have i need to insert the data so simply i need to write like this b dot and here i need to use the insert insert into table one and when i execute and this query uh, what will i get let's go 
back and let's run the query this two table previously we didn't have the record in the table one now you can see there is the record in the table one with the same as a table two so these are the three different series but if you carefully observe this is our case one this is our case two right and this is our case three but if you carefully observe these are near about 10 to uh, 10 to 12 lines of code and these are three different blocks so every time if this kind of scenario you have you need to write this kind of script we can call it as a script basically more than one statement are called as a script right so this is the script which you have to write for about three scenario but let me ask you one question do you like to write a single statement where you can uh, where you can combine all these queries in a one one chunk yeah you can so for that in a sql server we have a new kind of statement and that statement is a merge statement with the help of merge statement we can write a condition if something has been matched then what should happen if something doesn't match what should happen if that will that case is happen then that will be the scenario like this we can uh, we can perform the different kind of operation like a dml right we can perform insert update delete if something has got match then perform insert if something is match then perform update if something doesn't match then perform the delete so all this kind of uh, situation we can handle with the help of merge statement great i don't want to waste more time let me start to show you how we can write syntax is very simple just write merge here there are two things basically uh, 